with all the planes and helicopters flying over at night, and the sound of the, the big guns over in Pendleton. They're having war games right now. I should remind you of a conversation between King Basenadi and the Buddha. King Basenadi came to report to the Buddha, and he's been thinking about karma for a bit. He said he realized that even if you have an army, if you engage in misconduct in body, speech, or mind, then you're leaving yourself unprotected. Whereas if you're not protected by an army, but you're protected by your good conduct, then you really are well protected. And the Buddha affirmed that what he said was true. This is our true protection, the good that we do, and our avoidance of what's wrong. It comes down in the, the verse which is sometimes said to be the heart of the Buddha's teachings, avoiding every form of evil, bringing your goodness or your skillfulness up to its full level, and then cleansing the mind. Because it's through the cleansed mind that you're able to do the two other things. And the two other things, of course, help in the cleansing of the mind. These activities help one another, like washing your hands. Your left hand washes your right hand, your right hand washes your left. Both come out clean. The practice of meditation gives you the strength so that when you're tempted to do something you know is unskillful, you can, you can restrain yourself. And you see the goodness that comes by sharing, because the things that you have, you realize you don't need to use all of them. You've got enough to share, so you're happy to share. As the Buddha said, the things that we share, those become our genuine, our genuine possessions. The things that we use and are gone, but the things that we share are ours. So as you're sitting here meditating, you're preparing the groundwork for your own protection. As long as you don't do or say anything unskillful, and as you even if unskillful thoughts may come up in the mind, as long as you don't start feeding on them, then there's no bad karma. When there's no bad karma, then it, the results of bad karma don't come to you. The image the Buddha uses is of a hand holding poison. If there's a wound in the hand, then the hand can't hold the poison. It'll seep right into the blood. But if there's no wound, you can handle poison. There's no problem. So make sure that you leave yourself well protected and see the importance of the meditation to help strengthen that protection. Because aside from that, as the, another phrase says, the world has no shelter. There's no other protection out there. It's only the protection of your goodness that keeps you safe.